Hey, what's up guys? It's Matt with The Movement System. Today we're going to be talking about the Carbonin formula. We're going to be talking about why we might use this and how to calculate someone's target heart rate based on the Carbonin formula. Let's go ahead and dive into it. All right, so one way to think about this is on a number line from zero to max heart rate. So if we're thinking about a target per heart rate just based on strict percentage, 70% of max heart rate would just be 140 beats per minute. The Carvonin formula though is for individualizing based on people's resting heart rate. So instead of 70% of the total, it's just 70% of what we call the heart rate reserve. So if we compare this number line down here, we have zero and then we have max heart rate, but we've also included the resting heart rate of the athlete here. So if their resting heart rate is 60 beats per minute, we're going to take 70% of the range between their resting and their max heart rate. So really what heart rate reserve means is it's any heart rate that you can actually access. So you can't go below your resting heart rate. You can't go above your max heart rate. So we call this range between your resting and your max, the heart rate reserve. And in this case, it's 200 minus 60 to get 140 beats per minute for that heart rate reserve. Now, with the Carvonin formula, we're going to take that 70%, that target intensity, and we're going to multiply it by the heart rate reserve. So instead of 70% of the whole thing, we have 70% just of the heart rate reserve. That is going to get us, and we'll look at the formula here in a second, but about 98 beats per minute, and we're going to have to add that back onto the resting. So if we go ahead and look at the formula here, guys, the Carvonin formula is target heart rate equals resting heart rate plus intensity times heart rate reserve. So we calculated that heart rate reserve is 140 beats per minute. We multiply that by the 0.7, that gets us 98, and then we add back on the resting, that gets us 158 beats per minute. So what you'll see here is that when we compare it, 140 beats per minute from the strict percentage is much lower than the 158 beats per minute that we get when we use the Carvonin formula with the same percentage of intensity. So the Carvonin formula will always get you a higher answer, a higher number for target heart rate than the strict percentage. And again, this allows us to individualize to the athlete's resting heart rate. So an athlete with a lower resting heart rate would actually move down a little bit, whereas an athlete with a higher resting heart rate would move up a little bit. All right, so if that made sense to you, go ahead and hit the like button. If you need to, you can always replay it back. One reason for assigning target heart rate is so that we can work in a specific heart rate zone and be efficient in whatever adaptation we're chasing. So we might have someone work in a 70% heart rate zone. That might be like a, you know, zone three where they're working at a race pace and training for a 5K or something like that. All right, and so just to review that formula again, when we're thinking about the Carbonin formula, it's heart rate reserve times intensity gets us this chunk right here and then we have to add back on the resting heart rate to get us all the way to that target heart rate in this case that's 158 beats per minute all right guys so hopefully that was helpful for you if you want more videos like this go ahead and subscribe for more exercise science and strength conditioning videos if you are studying for the cscs exam you can go ahead and join the strength and conditioning study group on facebook and if you want to follow me on instagram it's at the movement system all right guys we'll catch you on the next one